Okay, in this video, we are talking about being able to write a system of equations. So we're not going to solve. Solving was before, and this time all I want us to be able to do is be able to write. So if I give you a table, if I give you a graph, to be able to write the two equations, okay? So the first thing we need to understand is that systems of equations actually can be expressed in many ways. Okay, this is how we're usually used to seeing it, where I give you the two equations. Okay, but that's one way. Okay, we can also have a graph, okay, where you have your two lines and you look and we always look for the point where they cross. Okay, but there's actually a third way that we haven't seen yet and that's a table like this. Okay, so before we kind of get into it, let's talk about what this table means. Okay, so if we remember a system of equations is actually always two equations. So I have equation, we'll actually say equation number one, and then we also have equation number two. Okay, so if you look here at this table, when we have this column y1, that refers to equation one. So we can ignore right here, okay, and I have my x values and I have my y values for equation one, okay. Equation two then is from y2. So if we ignore the middle column, okay, we have the x values and we have the y values for equation two, okay. So our goal today is to be able to write the y equals mx plus b. Okay, we're going to do that by finding the slope, finding the y-intercept. So I'm going to ignore this one here, okay, and we're going to find the slope. Now remember, from a table to find the slope, we do change in y over change in x. So my x values here, adding by 2, my y values here, also adding by 2. So I get y equals 2 over 2, x. And then the y-intercept always happens where x is 0. So in this case, plus 3. Okay, now this can simplify to y equals 2 over 2, which is the same thing as 1x plus 3. So that's equation number 1. Equation number 2, okay, I'm going to come here. I'm going to, my change in x is still plus 2. My change in y now is minus 1. So my slope here, change in y over change in x, negative 1 over 2x, and then my y-intercept is minus 3. Now, if I ask you to then solve it to find where they cross, you have a couple of options. Okay, I could come to my calculator. I could now 1x plus 3 and then negative 1 over 2, x minus 3. We could graph them. We could find where they cross. Okay. Remember we do this by clicking second, trace, and then I want option 5, and we do the intersection, and I get the point negative 4 comma negative 1. Or if you actually look at the table closely, okay, you can see that at this table, you notice this is a point that they both have in common. When x is negative 4, both y values are negative 1. So that actually tells us, hey, that is the actual point or the solution of this system. Okay, so let's try this one. So I want you to press pause. Okay, on your own, well, in a second, press pause. On your own, I want you to write the two equations. Okay, so cover up y2, find the equation of y1, cover up y1, find the equation of y2, and then tell me what the solution is. Okay, so hopefully you did that on your own. Okay, let's go over it. So for the first one, I'm going to cover up this one, and I need to find my slope. Okay, that's going to be change in y over change in x. So here, I add 4, here, add 1. So change in y over change in x, that's 4 over 1, or just 4x. Okay, now I don't have my y-intercept, so I need to go backwards one step to get to 0. So that means I'm going to minus 4, and I get negative 11. 
Okay. My second equation, I'm going to ignore this middle column. I still have my plus 1. And then here, I'm minusing 2. So my slope is negative 2 over 1. So negative 2x. And then I let's go backwards. I add 2 and I get positive 1. So plus 1. Okay, and then to find the solution of the system, I'm going to look here and I'm going to find a point right here, the second one, that they have in common. And this point is 2 comma negative 3. Okay, so there we go. That's for a table. Okay, now quickly let's just do a quick example from a graph. We can do the same thing for a graph where we can write the y equals mx plus b for both equations and then from that find the solution. Okay, so I'm going to do this first line, the line that's increasing right here. Okay, I want to find the slope. Slope is rise over run, so I go up 2 over 1, so my slope here is 2 over 1 or just 2. And then my y-intercept here is 5, so I add 5. Okay, for my second line, Okay, I go to find my slope. I actually go down 1 over 1, so my slope's negative 1 over 1, or just negative 1. And then my y-intercept is 2. So that is my system of equations. Okay, and then this point right here is the point negative 1, comma, 3. There we go. Okay, so that's really all you need to know how to do. Okay, is to be able to solve the system, okay, or to be able to write the system, okay, that goes back to y equals mx plus b, and then being able to find the point where they cross.